The Chicago Bears face the Indianapolis Colts in the 41st Super Bowl in Miami. In keeping with tradition, the mayors of the respective cities have placed a friendly wager on the game. Mayor Bart Peterson of Indianapolis has waged a ride to work in an Indy car against Chicago Mayor Richard Daley, who offered up the city's beloved Oprah. <laughs> big profits for big oil. ExxonMobil made $39.5 billion in 2006, the largest annual profit in U.S. history. And the company's lucrative profit-sharing plan has everyone from corporate officers to gas station managers seeing green. As an Exxon station manager, I sincerely apologize to you all for gas price going up. <laughs> Things will get better one day, but probably not soon. Let's go, bitches. Oscar-nominated actor Ryan O'Neal was arrested on Saturday for assaulting his son in a brawl that involved a gun. Police say at least one shot was fired during this dispute at O'Neal's Malibu home. The 65-year-old actor claims he acted in self-defense. O'Neill's son commented on the incident. Every now and then, I used to act crazy. That's just how I am. Okay, so up. A Bahamian judge ordered Anna Nicole Smith's baby daughter, Danny Lynn, to be swabbed this morning for DNA. When testing is complete, we will finally know whether Danny Lynn's father is Howard K. Stern, Howard Regular Stern, Larry Burkhead, Larry Bird, deceased billionaire J. Howard Marshall, Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, Ravishing Rick Rude, Junkyard Dog, The San Francisco 49ers, The Maytag Repairman, Dennis Kucinich, Tickle Me Elmo, Ralph Mouth, Burgess Meredith, The Purple Wiggle, A Box of Cheerios, The President of Brazil, A Bundt Cake, Regis Philbin, or Rosie O'Donnell. Britney Spears' rehab is finished, and now so too is her rocky marriage to husband Kevin Federline. The popular tabloid couple finalized their divorce earlier today. Details are under wraps, but a source close to the couple reports that Federline is due to receive joint custody of their two sons, an undisclosed monthly stipend totaling one million dollars, and a jacuzzi filled with jello shots. Paris Hilton will likely serve time at the Century Regional Detention Facility in Los Angeles. The socialite will be isolated in a cell with limited amenities. Her daily conditions will include a hard-boiled egg for breakfast, a bologna sandwich for lunch, and one hour out of her cell to use the payphone. She will not be allowed to use her Blackberry cell phone or vagina for 45 days. <laughs> NASA scientists spent much of last night trying to fix a large-scale computer problem at the International Space Station. In a last-ditch effort to get tech support, NASA launched the entire country of India into space. This is Father Michael Flager, a Chicago priest known for his activism against violence. Thanks to him, you can see this billboard throughout Chicago's South Side. It says, stop listening to trash, and lists the artists Father Michael finds the most offensive. Fat Joe, Lil Wayne, Nelly, 50 Cent, Twista, Snoop Dogg, Ludacris, and Kenny Rogers, whom the father doesn't find offensive, he just doesn't like. Scores of screaming fans were on hand today as the stars of the Harry Potter films had their hands, feet, and magic wands immortalized in cement outside Grauman's Chinese Theater. Everything was going smoothly until their wands accidentally awakened the evil cement monster. And now they are dead. 27,000 Toys R Us crayon and paint sets have been recalled because they contain lead. Tests revealed traces of the toxin in the Chinese-made boxes and in the paints themselves. Consumers are urged to take the sets back to the retailer for store credit. Yesterday, Family Court Commissioner Scott Gordon released a list of orders in the bitter child custody battle between Britney Spears and Kevin Federline. Among the court's orders are, Ms. Spears must submit to random bi-weekly drug and alcohol testing. Both Spears and Federline are restrained from using corporal punishment with their children and must put them to sleep in bed, not the clothes dryer. Spears is required to put on underwear, to clean up her own vomit, and is restricted from feeding her children more than one tube of frosting per child per week. Well, I think that all sounds very reasonable to me.